What's going on, everybody? So I've got my first Com C package in the mail. It's been about what two months or so since I've been doing Com C, maybe a little bit longer, two and a half. They picked up some pieces here and there, and overall, very, very happy with uh, what's been going. I guess you could say forth with the project of uh, going and finding cards for Com C, sell and taking profits to buy bigger cards. I like on Com C, so. I did elect to have this set express, cost me a little bit more. Um, there were some big cards in here, so that's why I did it that way. And in and out, I was going to say from the time I filed this until it was set off, it was like three days to do. So when you can choose express, if you ever do it, it doesn't mean you're going to hurry up and get in front of the line. It just means express means it's going to ship out to you the next uh, business day type deal. So... They did put in the padded bubble envelope. It's in a box. I think there's seven or eight cards in here. So let me open it up. We'll see how well they did. You guys will see all the crazy labels and stuff like that, of course. I'll show you what the box looks like. Which I'm actually really impressed that they set in the box. Oh, you know, they use BCW. So it comes in a nice box. It's probably like a... 600 card? No, graded trading card box. Didn't know they had these. So we got some peanuts on top. Whoa, there's another box inside. All right. Hold on. I got to put this on the side so I don't lose uh, the peanuts everywhere like I am doing currently. So far, I'm digging the packaging. Now, I don't know if they do it this way if you use any of the other methods or not. Or plus, when you guys see what I actually got, it's kind of cool. I send them BCW boxes. I get BCW boxes in return. All right. So now we're down to a single 300 count, 400 count storage box. Cool. I can mail some back. It's taped. No. Inside, they're bubble wrapped with our expedite service that we took on to it. So there are nine items in this. Target ship date was on the 26th. So I think I did this on Christmas Day. And Tuesday, Wednesday, went out Thursday, and I just got it today. So three business days. I think when I did it, because I remember watching the numbers go, no way this it was like uh it was under 50 uh on Wednesday. I thought it was gonna make it out that day, but it didn't. So we'll take a look inside here. Very, very happy with the packaging. I don't know why we have grass. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh, let me just find out where this is at. We like the reused bubble wrap here. How many people actually say that on camera? I like the reused bubble wrap. All right, there we go. All right, we got stuff every which way here. I was not planning to be this well packed, to be honest. Now, here was the weird part on to when I went to check out only two cards I had to add a top loader to. Every other card had stuff to it, so it was kind of crazy. I was wondering if they all would come in top loaders, and they all did. So, cool. All right, so this is number one. You got all these tags and labels on for security. I mean, look, one here, one inside, <laughs> your order number here. So let me try to get this opened up to show you guys. This was the only graded card. The other graded card I think I showed in the video already. I bought it, was going to send it to myself, and somebody paid double the price for it. Granted, I did get it on cheap. Okay. So up first, Anna I. You guys probably might not remember her, but uh, what's her name? Sharpanova? And her had some classic matches towards the end of her career. I picked this up on eBay auctions. And I bought it for what the Raw goes for. So a 9, it gives a little bit extra on to it. But it's just a cool piece. that I tried to get the, I think it was the gold as well. But uh, should have just been higher on to it. Alright, we'll open up this one next. I think the, wait... Yeah, I think this is the next cheaper of the cards. So they did team bag all this. I mean, pretty pretty good. Holy cow, stuff every which way here. 
Now it looks. Oh, sorry, guys. I have to put some of this stuff for grading. Um, now you can tell left and right's off on this, but this is the marquee rookies, Jack Hughes. It didn't look that bad in the photos. But now I see it in hand, it makes me wonder. And I'll show you guys, like, can you guys see the photo? Kind of looks more centered in the photo than it does here. I might still grade it if it can get me a 9. Jack Hughes, one of the, uh... Well, they were talking about him more in the beginning. Now, a lot of this is hockey. The rest of this is hockey. So, Wildcat, I apologize. I'm probably boring the living crap out of you right now. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that's a cool one. As I open each of these up, they're like all individually done too. Must be a heck of a lot more cards than this one. Alrighty. I gotta like unteam bag everything twice. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I can't read this camera. Up next, this is a 101. Panini did hockey at one time frame. Private signings, Paul Coffey. You get a lot of you guys will remember Paul Coffey towards the later part of his career played for the Pittsburgh Penguins in their first back to back Stanley Cup championships with good old Mario and Yager. Pretty cool piece. Oh, there. I was going to show you guys where the one on one's at. It's right up here. And then I just picked this next one up. Ugh, I can't get it out of the team bag. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, there we go. And here's a thing in the back here. Up next, Stanley Cup from the Cup, Malkin and Jordan Stahl out of 25. I think I got this around 100 ish. They sell for about 150, 160 usually. But this is from, I want to say 09. Yeah, 2000. Oh, no, that's the year of the Cup. 2010 Cup. So, pretty cool piece for the hockey fan of me. Jordan Stahl, of course, now on the um, Carolina Hurricanes for a long time now, actually. All right, we got one more package. I promise this is where the bangers start coming. Okay, I lied. The first one will not be a banger, but it's a cool card. I, I've, like, piled up the trash in front of my microphone right now. It's insane. I want to see how I want to look at these. Oh, I'll just do them backwards. All right. I'm going to get them all to their individual team bags and stuff here. All right. Up first, Alexander Radulov. I believe he's back in Russia playing now, possibly. But this is four out of eight from, uh, should be SP Game. Yeah, SP Game Use. Part of the stick. Pretty cool piece. During his younger years, he was very highly sought after. Then he came back, started playing again, and I lost track of him. I just knew who he was. A pretty cool piece to like a piece of the stick like that there. Up next, Mr. Soon to have his jersey retired in Pittsburgh. I believe it's February 18th. This is out of, I think, SP Signature Series. Signature Edition Legends. Yaramir Yager. Cool card. On-card auto. Like I said, hockey just has... Upper Deck just has better cards overall. I just wish they were making it for other sports that were licensed. But, oh, I love this Yager card. That's a little bit of white you can see in the bottom right, but... It's a Yager. Now, I'll just be honest, this, there's three cards left. I have them in a specific order. When you see what this next card is, you're probably wondering what the heck's the last two. I mean, I would be. Keeping with the same 
set SP um, Signature Edition Legends. Wayne Gretzky Auto. These should be around 700 a card. I know I picked it up with a down low. Around 440, 450. Go look it over. See if it'll grade because we do have all the white. And just have to check the top edges and stuff on to it. But beautiful Gretzky card. Somebody probably pulled it from EPAC. And what I try to do a lot of times with uh, hockey. And I, I hopefully that's not too loud in the mic. Guys, so I do apologize if it is. It's just on my trash. Oh, I, Upper Deck EPAC. What I do is I like to see, could this have come out Upper Deck EPACs? If it did, it could grade. All right, so two cards left. I've got to open them all up here. I mean, what could be a Wayne Gretzky card, right? How about the buyback, Sidney Crosby? This was out of 06, 07? Maybe 07, 08. 07, 08 SPX. And I believe the buyback year on this, I'd have to look it up was probably about within the last seven, eight years. I'd have to look it back up, but it's a buyback auto. So Bridge of this card was just a jersey card. They had Sid sign it. Now it's four out of ten. There is some whiting on the corners, but I like the buyback autos. And this here is just really cool being numbered four out of ten. And it's an early year card of Sidney Crosby too. Then you always get with the buybacks, the little upper deck thing there. So he says authentic. I don't know if I can get shot. There it is. Hollow out onto it. But pretty cool piece. <laughs> All right, last one. This here was, uh, I guess you could say, a last minute thing where I didn't really want to bid. And I bid and I was like, you know, I'm just going to go for it all. I can't get the little tag piece out. There we go. This is a nice card. Connor McDavid Auto out of 10. This is from Metal, the Jarring. This is a beautiful card. This looks like it'll be a grading candidate. You know, the back all white. Which, again, I like because you're not going to have, like, whiting because they use color on the borders and stuff onto it. This is the new year, 2022-23 stuff. Maybe get a 9. We pray for 10s. But really, really cool card overall. So, as you guys can see, I've been selling a little bit on there. And instead of me buying cards, it shows... Well, you can't find hockey anywhere in shows. I'll just be honest out this way. But I've been just trying to get stuff that makes it fun again to me. And hockey is fun for me. Might not be for everybody else, but McDavid out of 10 auto. Crosby out of 10 auto. The Gretzky. So let me just think here. Uh, call that 9. Urban 50. I think I spent a total of seventeen fifty on all this, roughly. So, and all, a lot of this was auctions. <laughs> I, I take it back. Every one of these were um, Com C auctions. I just put, I got them. And instead of having to pay like eBay and all that other stuff shipping, I just sent it over there. So, the way I look at, it, if I'd have bought these from individual prices from everybody else, nine of them, I'd have spent forty five dollars roughly on shipping. Instead, I got them all from Com C sent them over, pulled them, and I spent 38 to have it shipped, expedited. So not bad. Again, McDavid out of 10, Crosby out of 10, Wayne Gretzky auto, on card, Yager on card auto, rattle off stick, the cup, Malkin, and Jordan Stahl out of 25, the 101 Paul Coffey. That's just disgusting. It's the private signings, too. Jack Hughes. I forget what it's called. Like, Color Will or something. 
And then Nina Ivanovich, um, PSA 9. So we'll do one of these videos every so often. It's going to depend on when I really buy on there and get enough stuff in. I want to do it to where I'm getting anywhere from eight cards or more back. Because then it would make sense what I would have bought them for individually from others, you know, with shipping and having it expedited and everything. I can tell you now, with what I had sent, their packaging, very, very good. It was safe, secure. Uh, I have no complaints on their packaging. If I had a great amount of 10, I'd give them a 10 out of 10, to be honest, for shipping. We might have to try some of the other ones. I, I don't like having them. I think with my Deck E-Pack, where stuff was just like in a couple top loaders, team bagged and some cardboard and thrown in a bubble envelope. I thought this is how this was going to come, and I was, no lie, scared. So what I ended up doing was stacking it all. That way, it would go this way. And I think... Doing it the expedited way once you get so many cards of value, I think might be the best way to do it, to be honest. But I'd give them 10 out of 10 for packaging. Don't know if Com C has anybody ever watches these or anything, but 10 out of 10, that's pretty high on my scale, to be honest. I can't really give you guys anything for needs improvement. I mean, I know you all the little labels and stuff like that, but to have team bag individual cards and then take those cards, put them in another team bag bulked up that's that's old school me with what i used to do back in the day craziness huh well guys let me know what you think i know it's a hockey type of mail day with a little bit of tennis and stuff like that but as you can see like the cards in the back here just i would rather have fun stuff like this than stuff like that in my opinion right now and just do the quality of the cards that upper deck produces versus panini or tops that's just you, you're not going to touch it and don't get me wrong you're going to have your thick cards are going to have their issues like spx um some of the cup cards will have whiting and stuff on you're going to get that i expect it with thick cards like upper deck uh, black and stuff like that i expect it but the um stuff like where i'm talking about select prism optic where you have all those surface crappy marks and stuff on it you don't see a whole lot of that stuff on upper deck stuff at least in my experience with grading their stuff all right everybody appreciate you watching a little com c mail day and everything hopefully you guys enjoyed some uh hockey next time i probably won't unpackage it at all i'll just already have it already sit out and we'll go through it but i wanted to share the full experience of opening up what it looked like and everything in case anybody ever wants to do a com c account and then you know buy and then decide one day okay i want you know get x amount of cards in the mail is it going to arrive safe are they going to package it right for the 38 dollars i spent for expedited shipping which, again, if I had to have all those individually, it would have been like 5 bucks a pop, so 45 To me, it was worth it. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Catch you all next video.